So the reason I'm selling that pressure washer because I got this pressure washer at a yard sale. It's an Excel 3200 PSI 4 gallons a minute and it's 11 horsepower Honda and I like Honda. Uh, it's got this cord on it that goes all the way down to the end of my driveway and back again. <laughs> The big wand on it, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I acquired it at a uh, estate sale in my neighborhood, and I got a pretty good deal on it. It's one of these GX340s. It's supposed to be a commercial brand. Uh, 11 horsepower. Starts super easy. It's got a nice fuel shut off here. There's a choke. It's Real simple to run. Uh, I really like the fact that they put a sediment bowl in here. Uh, I did have a problem with the uh, tank. Uh, down under the bottom of the tank here where the fuel line is. Uh, there's a little low spot there and it had a little pinhole rusted through there. Uh, I don't know how old this machine is, but it's not very old. Uh, it seems kind of sucky that it had a hole. But uh, all I did was uh, Sand that off and drill the hole through the pinhole and a blob of JB welds on there and uh, yeah, she's good to go. So uh, yeah, it leaked a little bit of fuel onto the motor. Uh, the owner didn't know that though, or didn't want to know it. He said that the, this was frozen. So I took this assembly off of here and here, just pulled this piece off and uh, just blew it out with the airline and I put this in the vise and it just didn't take much pressure and I wriggled it around and it came free. Uh, also, the connection that belongs here, which I have here, it's a little quick disconnect. It's bad. So, this piece here it goes in. Uh, there's a little rubber seal in there that's bad and uh, the end of this rusted off a little bit. And squirted water everywhere, so I had this old uh, valve laying around I just uh, stabbed that on there and uh, away you go it I mean it works so probably will put the quick disconnect back on it's just like this one here there's one on the hose on this end where the wand is and there's one for here it makes good sense so that it doesn't get abused and it breaks this off so it would be smart to take that off of there and have the hose left off when I'm not using it but uh the grand total that I paid for this, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted. I paid $19. <laughs> $19 for it. And uh, the only thing that was wrong was the uh, adjuster valve, the pinhole in the gas tank, uh, the connection for the water line. Oh, and this, uh, this little cap. This little cap that holds uh, the wheel on the axle was missing on this side. And uh, all I did to fix that was I took a big nut and drilled a hole in it and tapped some threads and put a little screw in there. Slipped it on there and cranked that down and it's good enough. Also they had a flat tire over here so they put a tube in the tire some time ago. But uh, it's a really nice running machine. and. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get what it's worth if I try to sell it. So we're going to sell a little one over here. So there you go.